Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Platinum. This is obviously the randomizer Nuzlocke run, of course, and in our previous episode we made it all the way here to Celestian Town, as well as uh, we caught a new Pokemon, we caught Nidal Queen. So in today's episode we are going to explore the Celestian Ruins and hopefully go up the Spiritual Tower and maybe catch another Pokemon if we have the time. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I know some of you guys are probably wondering why I haven't been uploading uh, for the last week or so, and I do have a really good excuse for that. Um, the microphone that I used to record all of my videos with, the Blue Yeti, the cord kind of crapped out on me. So I ordered a replacement cord as well as a replacement microphone just in case there was something wrong with the actual mic in itself. Um, I'd have something to record videos. Fuck you guys, I don't want to fight you! No! <laughs> There we go. Nobody wants to fight those queer bags. But anyways, um, as I was saying, I ordered the replacement microphone and uh, a replacement cord, and then I never realized up until yesterday when they did come in that I could actually use the cord that comes with the uh, classic remote if you buy a Wii, uh, a Wii classic remote, like the Wii U one. Um, not the classic, is it called? It's the Wii Pro controller, that's what it is. So I felt really stupid because this entire time I could have been recording videos if I used that cable, but uh, I never really realized it until last night, so uh, forgive me. Oh god, there's no stones here. So here we are in Celestian Ruins. We're actually going to avoid this fat f Banjo guy. He, he, I don't know why these people remind me of Banjo, but I don't like fighting them. Alright, don't look at me. Don't look at me. There's another one. There's a creepy little skinny guy. Okay, so we're going to find three different stones here. We're going to find a water stone, thunder stone, and a fire stone. I'm actually going to use one of these stones to evolve my Eevee. Um, like I said, I was leaning towards Flareon, but a lot of you guys said Flareon sucks balls. Um, and Vaporeon kind of sucks nuggets compared to like uh, Prinplup. So I might not even evolve into Vaporeon because I already have a water type. So I'm honestly thinking of just going with... Uh, uh, Jolteon, and I don't, I honestly might do it. So just go ahead and let me know what you guys would like me to evolve it into. If you want to see it evolve into Jolteon, then let me know. Um, I'm gonna evolve it in the next episode, so this is your last chance to kind of request what you'd like to see me evolve it into. I know Umbreon and Espeon were voted, but honestly, they're not on the list. I don't really want an Umbreon or an Espeon, so uh, don't ask for one. <laughs> All right, so we got the stone that I needed. Now we're gonna get the HM5 Defog. We need this. Um, I'm not sure. I, I know Printplup can learn Defog, but I don't really know if I want to teach it to Printplup. And I don't know if there's a Pokemon in this area that I could catch that can actually learn Defog. Like, if we could find a Zubat, then I think we'd be safe. Ooh, we found a Nugget. Nice. We can actually sell this for money. So I'm actually just gonna run around here, let my Repel kind of wear off. Hopefully run into Zubat. Please, something. Oh, yo, Kabutops. Ooh, 27 too. Holy shit. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and catch this little bastard. Um, Alright, so... You know, I have no idea how how fighting type does on, like... What fighting type does on him. Hopefully it's not super effective or anything like that. I highly doubt it, because it's rock. Oh, uh, God. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Holy shit! Critical hit, super effective. Alright, fuck you, Kabutops. Yeah, I should probably do my Pokemon research before I <laughs> before I attempt to catch wild Pokemon. But, you know, hey, how the hell should I know? Is everything here is randomized? Let's use an escape rope and just get out of here. We got what we needed. I'm actually going to look at this route quickly, too. Like the patch of grass that's here to see if we can catch anything. Um, here. Oh, the berries are gone. I took two of them. There were supposed to be four, but if you don't play the game for an extended period of time, they kind of like, just like, oh, we found the Kabutops and we had a Repel still on. Oh, let's jack these berries quickly. And this guy. Oh, I suck to be the gardener that does this. Because, <laughs> like, you plant the berries, wait for them, like, four weeks to grow or whatever, and then you come to just take them, and they're gone. Some asshole had stolen them. I'd be pretty pissed. Alright, let's see what this is. Another Asper Berry. Alright, let's see if we find a good Pokemon. 
What is this? It is a Volbeat. You know, I remember actually having one of these shits on my team when I was uh, playing Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So yeah, we're, we'll we'll catch this. I mean, maybe just maybe it can learn Defog. Who knows? I don't know if it does or not, but I mean, we'll see. We know I know fighting for sure is not effective on this thing, so we'll be fine using Wukong. Just kind of lowering its health. Hopefully, we don't get a critical hit and end up killing it like we did Kabutops. Oh, Wukong's attack missed. All right, let's try some mock punches. I'd like to save my PP. It's not very effective. Wild Volbeat used Moonlight. What does Moonlight do? Oh, that's right. It's one of those stat decreasers or increasers. Oh, it healed him. Fuck you. All right, we'll do another one of these. Oh god. Damn it, man. Why do these Pokemon have such hard-ons for confusing me? They love confusing me and they love freaking poisoning me. It's just like in their nature. Like, we have to confuse and paralyze you, you stupid shitbag. This is super potion. I don't want to use potions, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do to stay alive. Wow, only healed 36 HP. How much does Super Potion do? Like, 50? We need, like, Max Potion. I think Max Potion does 100. Or maybe it, like, increases your entire stat. Like, your entire health. So, please snap out of confusion. Please snap out of confusion. Do not hit yourself. Do not hit yourself. Jesus Christ, man. They love disobeying me. Alright. Let's use another potion. Just to kind of make sure he stays alive. Wukong's HP was restored by 20 PP. The wild Volbeat or Volbeat used double team. All right, that's that's good for you, man. Let's now hit him, please. Jesus Christ! Stop freaking using double team, man. Attacks will continue to miss. Attack missed. Shit. This vol this this uh this Volbeat's uh it's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I mean it's pretty smart for a wild Pokemon, so we might end up we might need to heal before uh we enter into spiritual tower just cause Wukong's PP is low unless we can actually buy some others from the Marts, which I highly doubt we can now. But uh I'm really considering just switching out to different Pokemon. Let's switch out to Percy. God, I hope he doesn't kill it. I don't think he will. I mean, we'll just use Pound or whatever. Because if he cannot learn Defog, which I have the feeling he's not going to be able to, we're, this is all going to be for a, like, it's all going to be a waste of time and I'll end up having to teach Percy uh, Defog. Jesus, man, freaking hit the goddamn bug. It's a stupid ladybug right there. What is that thing? Holy crap. I have such hard-ons for confusing me, and that did, of course you do jack shit, of course you'd use Moonlight. Alright, we'll, we'll send out the big guns. Slash it, and freaking dies, let it die, I don't give a crap. Actually, no, let's use Cut, nah. We'll, we'll try Slash, it's level 31. It's gonna kill it, watch. But, you know what, at this point, I don't really give a shit, because I think we've missed, we've wasted the last, like, five minutes just trying to catch this. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could catch it. I just need to weaken it first. And it's not giving me that chance. Alright, let's cut you open. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Critical hit. Screw you two. I don't even want to catch you anyways. I highly doubt it could even learn defog. So it was probably all for a waste anyways. So whatever. Who scares? Whatevs. Right, I'm going to go just heal quickly and... Uh, yeah, we will head to the spiritual tower. Or whatever it's called. You know, I, I don't even know the name for that place that we're heading to. But I know we need to get some tags. And we need to clear the defog up there. And then we can make our way up to the next city. Woo! Oh yeah, uh, I forgot to mention, I actually did get the odd keystone from that one douchebag. Um, or the Jackie Chan guy who was standing out front of the... You know I'm going to change Pokemon quickly. Who was standing outside of uh, that one place, you know? You know that one place? That, that that cave? 
Mount Cornet? Not really, I don't even know. Alright, so... Yeah, we're gonna run into Ghastlies and stuff. Oh, nice, Elendian. El Eledian. Eledian! What is this thing? You know, we'll catch this. It looks like the evolvation of, uh... Of that little thing we were trying to catch. But how? It's only level 17. Huh. Unless Volbeat was the evolvation, which I doubt. Oh, this thing's a fighting type, too. That's good. Alright, so we'll try to catch this and see if it can learn Defog. Oh yeah, it's not very effective. Now, if you use Confuse around me, I swear to God. Oh yeah, critical hit. Alright, so one more hit will do it. Uh-oh. We will just do f this. It'll probably... Probably... It'll probably not kill it. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yes, thank you. Come on, one more. Oh yeah, hit me with a mock Punch. Did nothing. You'd think Revenge would do more damage than Mog Punch, because, I mean, it's... It's def Holy crap! Alright, we got this. We got this sealed. We got the deal sealed. Here we go. One Pokeball. What? Well, okay, never mind. It's okay. It broke free with, like, 2 HP. That's beautiful. Oh, maybe because it was protected. Maybe that kind of helped it, which... I highly doubt it did, but, you know, I just like to think that it did, because otherwise I'd be pretty pissed. For a freaking Pokemon with no HP breaking out of my balls. Ah. Alright, so we're going to use the rest of these Pokeballs. If we can't catch it, then we're going to resort to using other balls that we have. And then I'll go back next time and buy more Pokeballs. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. Because, I mean, as you progress further on into the game... Uh, they tend to get stronger and stronger, or just harder to catch with just regular Pokeballs. Uh, we do have two Great Balls. I could just use one of them right now and easily catch this and not waste all this time trying to catch it, you know, but... We didn't to catch it! Come on, it was this last ball, dog. If I hit it one more time, it will legitimately die, and we don't want that to happen. God, I seriously need some Pokemon that can like do par like that can paralyze, Pokemon that can put someone to sleep, someone that can yeah, just sleep and paralyze. That's all we need. There we go, we caught it after five Pokeballs. Am I supposed to be thankful now that I caught it after wasting five Pokeballs and I know for a fact it's probably not gonna learn defog? D line and give it a nickname, yes. I would love to give it a nickname. Alright. I don't know if it'll fit. Yeah, it will. We just can't make spaces. <laughs> little shit. Get it? Like little Bill? Not really. Does it make any sense? Because there's no similarity right there at all. Alright, so we'll go just see if it can learn defog or not. My money says it, it doesn't learn defog. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to see, to check it out. Because, I mean, what if it does, and we don't know about it? Then I'd hate myself for teaching it to print up. Alright, log into Baby's PC. We're going to deposit you in box one, and we are going to exit. Continue operations in this box. No. We're gonna actually the easiest way to move Pokemon around is like you can move it, add it to your team, and like release it. It's just go to move. It's better than depositing and withdrawing. All right, here we go. This is it. The moment of truth. If we can actually teach it defog or not. Not really. It's not. Oh God! I freaking knew it. Stupid little shit. Of course it doesn't learn defog. All right, we're gonna have to teach defog to print up. Because I've been through all of the routes in this area, and I highly doubt we could catch a Pokemon that can learn Defog, so forgive me. We're gonna just forget Growl because I never used the move Growl. So, so far, Print Bob loans, or he knows two moves that honestly are useless to him Cut and now Defog, which we're only probably gonna use like once. That's dumb as hell. Whatevs. 
What if? So we're gonna catch- I'm gonna try my best to catch as many Pokemon as possible. Like, any Pokemon I see in any route, I will just catch it. Like, if it's good or bad, I'm just gonna catch it. You know? Because I honestly- uh, I don't know. I, I want to like switch my team up a little bit and I don't want to rely on just using the same few Pokemon that I've been using since the start of the game. Um, you can pretty much avoid all of these trainers here. Some of them you can't. There's actually going to be some mandatory battles. Uh, they're, they're somewhat tricky, but overall I'm pretty sure we'll be able to make them through uh, like this guy. I don't want to fight him. So if you could kindly look the other way, sir, just to let me pass you, then I'd, I'd really appreciate it. All right. Thank you. All right, yeah, you can you can look back. You can do whatever you were doing, looking at that old man. All right, old man, I don't want to fight you either, so I'm just gonna kindly sneak between you. Uh oh, there's a there's a lady right there. Oh god, do we really have to fight her? Hey, lady. Yeah, thank you. No. Oh my god, I've never been so scared in my life. When it learned, when it used Mimic and it learned Dragon Rage, I was so scared it was gonna use Dragon Rage and like hit me. Oh, I would have died and we found Return. That's so weird. I think you can, I, I think you get this from the first gym leader. I'm pretty sure you get it from one of the gyms, but yeah, that's cool. We found Return. Watch the old ladies. Hello. Now you just use Defog and they will give you two tags. And then I think we'll be done with this spooky place. And we'll be able to go on our way. Percy use defog. Ooh, what does that do? It just removes the fog. Just crack in some freaking windows in this stupid bitch and you'll have no fog. We obtain the spell tag. Alright, cool. I don't know what that does. Daffantine, it's so hard to tell what she's thinking. She's compassionate. Oh, but she's ready. Blah, blah, blah. Let me make your journey easy and less frightening. I obtain the cleanse tag. Okay. You know, honest to God, I have no idea what these tags do, but, you know, I'm just taking them for the hell of it. Now, escape ropes don't actually work in this area, so... We are gonna have to exit out the old-fashioned way. And... Uh, we fought you, so we don't need to worry about not running into you. And this guy, we need to... That way, that way, there we go. It's this old guy. Uh-oh. Oh, he's looking at that. Alright, buddy. Uh-oh. Fudge! I knew you were gonna do that! I should have ran. <sighs> this guy's gonna be a bitch to kill. <laughs> I lost it when he had a Cleffa. <laughs> Cause I know I know when one of these trainers they have it's a double battle. It's probably those two couple that couple up top. Uh, if you fight them, they actually have uh, Pokemon that can give you a hard time, or at least they'd give me a hard time. Uh, but yeah, Roughneck sent out sent out his Cleffa and did a pretty good job, you know. All right, so I think I I, I think we are good. Uh, I would continue, but we are like 20 minutes into the episode, so um, hopefully in the next episode we will make our way up to the next city and uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe catch some more Pokemon, whatever Pokemon we can find in the area we'll catch, obviously, so uh, thank you all so much for watching, remember this is your last chance of letting me know who you'd like to see me evolve this Eevee into, like I said next episode at the start I will evolve it into whatever I choose, and I'm really leaning towards Jolteon because... So far, I haven't ran into a single Electric-type Pokemon in this game in the wild, so I highly doubt 
we'll run into a decent type of electric. So Jolteon would probably be our best bet right now. So just go ahead and let me know. And that is it. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.